everyone. I just want to do a quick little uh, all rounder tonight. Um, so we'll get straight into it. We're going to stand. We'll stand with our, just our normal, I'll just move that um, screen a little bit. Just with our normal roll down. Feet sitting bone distance apart. Shoulders, hip distance. And we're going to find a breath. And I want you to find the breath into the back of the ribs here, into the side of the ribs, through the through the front, through them to the diaphragm. So I want you to think about breathing in through the nose. And sometimes as we breathe in through the nose, we can find the diaphragm really having to start to work. And as we work the diaphragm, the organs can start to move. So we're going to inhale. As we exhale, find those nice connections, pelvic floor, draw in the belly and tighten the waist to get rid of all of the oxygen. I'm going to take that inhale breath. And as we exhale, draw the chin towards the chest, shoulders are away from the ears, chin towards the chest. And we're just going to roll ourselves down to keep those hip bones over the ankles. Stretching out, lengthen ourselves, take that inhale breath, soften the knees and roll ourselves back up. Shoulders away from the ears, open up that chest. Taking that inhale breath, and we're going to exhale, we're going to roll down again. Taking that nice length, stretching through. Fingertips reaching down to the toes. And inhale, rolling our soles back up. Finding that nice length, I'm going to take my hands. I'm going to, so we just did frontal flexion. Take that inhale breath, reach the fingertips to the ceiling. And we then take the other hand down the legs, stretch out, keep the feet nice and even on the mat as we, whoops, as we stretch out. I'm reaching through my fingertips and I'm getting that nice stretch and exhale, I'm going to roll myself back up and inhale, stretch out. Now as you do so, make sure you keep that rib to hip connection, if you don't arch out through the back. So exhale, back to self, back up. And inhale, reach those fingertips, slide those hands down, the leg, as you reach that top hand. And exhale, back up. And inhale, stretch it the other way. And exhale, back up and back down through. So you could do a couple more if you wish. Just make it feel nice. Oops. Let's get this screen back up and I'll just do that little adjustment. So we're just hopefully warming that side up through. Now I was going to sit sideways. I'll, I'll do a couple sideways and a couple front on. Now when Joseph Pilates um, works with this, he tends to have his hands with his fingertips to the back. You, you do get a nice stretch through the arms here. It is quite a nice stretch that I get. However, for me, it is, it, it, it is a little uncomfortable. Other people tend to have their fingertips reaching forward. Again, it doesn't feel completely comfortable. I, I tend to have my hands a bit more out to the side. Take your hands where it feels comfortable. So I'm going to take that inhale breath. And as I inhale, I'm going to lift the chest, reach through the, the um, crown of the head as I come into that nice extension. And then as I exhale, I'm going to draw my chin towards the chest, scoop my belly towards my spine. And I feel as though my sitting bones are drawing under as I come into that nice flexion. And I'm going to take that inhale breath, lift that chest and extend it through. And then exhale, draw the chin towards the chest and roll it back down again. So front on, that will just look with a nice extension. Make sure you don't drop the neck. As you lift, don't drop that neck. And then exhale, scooping in. Into that nice flexion, getting the mobility through the spine. And back to centre. I'm going to take one knee. So I'm crossing my right knee over my left side. And I'm going to just turn 
myself to face my right knee. Okay, so there's my sternum turning to the left there so that it's facing over the right. And I'm going to take that inhale breath, lift that chest and exhale. Now I'm not going to take this too quickly as I come into flexion here of my spine because I'm in rotation and we can, it, you need to take this carefully in rotation. I'm extending through, I'm lengthening through the crown as I start lifting that chest. And of course, it's always within your own range of movement as I come down through. I'm only going to do a couple here. It's still our warm up. And we, our time is short. So if you want to do more, feel free. I'm going to cross the leg over, my sternum, my left leg's over. You can take whichever leg you like first, but um, my left leg's over, my sternum's in line with my left leg. Um, so I've, I've turned to the right a little bit, left leg's over to the right. So I'm going to take that inhale breath, extend with that slight rotation. And then exhale, draw the chin towards the chest, scoop the belly in. As we come down through, I'm going to come to the side. Just let myself get into your neutral position. I'm going to do it on the side for you so you can see it from side um, position as well. Take that inhale breath, opening up the chest, and then exhale as we draw the chin towards the chest. Whoops, I need to come back. I did neutral, I did a bit more um, neutral position. Let's start that again. Inhale in extension, and then exhale into rotation and flexion. And I'm just going to do one more here. As I inhale. And exhale, draw the chin, scoop the belly into that nice flexion. Back to neutral. Carefully unwind yourself. I'm going to take my hands behind my knees. My feet are sitting by distance. Take that inhale breath, sitting tall. As I exhale, draw my chin towards my chest. Now I'm scoop that belly behind me as I roll myself down. Lengthening through. Hands come down the side, you reaching down towards the toes. I've got my feet nicely connected to the floor in this nice neutral position. I'm going to take an inhale breath. Don't move that spine. I might just move my feet just a little slight further down. As I exhale, I start with my right side so I know which side I'm starting as I float my first leg. And inhale back down. And exhale, take it the other side. Now you can do four or five here, but I'm, only, I'm going to keep moving on. But if you want to pause and do three or four sets, you can. I'm going to exhale, float my leg, find my connection. As I exhale, don't let my spine shift as I float the other leg. And I'm going to take the inhale breath. And as I exhale, work it through the hip joint as you bring the foot down. Now, the leg, uh, depending on how strong you feel, it might be that you only take a little way. It might be that you can get it all the way. It might be that you can only take it to the halfway position. But whatever you do, make sure you keep those connections Keep that breath, my eyes are looking forward so that I don't arch that neck. And I think that's third set. And we're going for four. I'm, only, I'm doing six sets here. Four. Four. Five. Five. And here's my sixth set. I'm going to take my hands behind my feet, leave my legs where they are. You can, if you don't feel stable, you can bring your feet down into this position for this next one. But I'm going to be in my toe top position, elbows in the periphery of my vision. Keep those nice connections, take that inhale with, as it is, I've got my chin towards the chest, rib comes to hip. I'm keeping this part of me nice and steady as I inhale down. And exhale, curl on up. And back. And three. Four. 
If you want to do eight or ten, you can. I'm only going to do six. Five. And six. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to take the inhale breath. I'm going to bring my left elbow to my right knee. My left leg is going to extend as I bring that in. And inhale back to centre. And exhale, rotate it through. I'm looking towards my opposite elbow. Two. And two. And keep going through. Finding that breath to help you now. If you don't want to take necessarily the leg too low. So me, I get the best benefit when I'm kind of halfway. But if you find that you need to take the leg a little higher because you are not controlling it, or you are, feel as though you're losing that control, feel free. But, oops, I just had a little loss of control there. I think I've got one more set. And here's the last set. Take the inhale down. Take the other leg down. Bring the head down, hands out to the side. I'm going to walk my feet out mat width and I'm going to bring my knees down to the floor. That top knee reaching down to the foot. Keep my shoulder blade rib cage connected to the mat here as I exhale the back up. And inhale. So I'm really trying to open up through the side line of my body. And exhale, back up. I'm going to do one more exercise. Should be any help with there, and it's how to lift up through the oblique. And inhale. And exhale. Walk my feet back to mat width. I'm going to keep my hands out to the side here. Take the inhale breath as I exhale, float one leg. Find those connections. Don't let that shift through your spine as you float the other leg. I'm going to take the inhale breath, keep this shoulder blade rib cage connection, connected to the floor as you inhale, drop down through the, the knees. Now, this is where you need to control it. I'm going to lift up through this oblique here. That's what I'm trying to work. Inhale as I take it down and control, and then I'm going to lift up through the opposite oblique as I lift back up. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. You can do more if you wish. I'm just going to take my legs. Now you can keep your knees. Let's keep our knees bent for a moment. I'm going to keep it in that, hopefully in that time, 90 90. Take that inhale breath. Reach the knees to one side. Exhale. Circle the knees down and around. And inhale. So actually, it's actually working through my hip joint. Not so much through the knees. Because I'm not taking the knees out. I'm um, working through the hip joint and take it the other way. I can't remember that I took it the other way or not. Hopefully I did because we do one direction and then we do the other direction. Now, if this is the best for you, for your body, stay with the knee bent. But if you feel okay, extend the legs long, keep that nice neutral position. Inhale, take the legs across, keep this rib cage connected, and exhale, circle. Circle the legs down and around on the exhale. Inhale, take it back the second way, and exhale down and around. Now, this is how I can't talk through this, but inhale, exhale down and around. Inhale. So, it actually, it actually may be a small circle. So, if this is your best control, in this small little circle for your abdominals, take it smaller because you actually want to control it. Pilates is about control and being precise with the move, not just doing a move for a move's sake. And then hug the knees into the chest. Taking the inhale breath, I'm going to take my hands behind my knees and I'm going to exhale, rock myself up to a sitting position. I could have actually just turned and rolled onto my tummy, but I actually wanted to do the little roll up first as well. Now I'm going to come onto my, my tummy. Bring your hands onto your mat, and your forehead is on the back of your hands here. Now, I want you to be really careful that you don't arch this lower back, okay, because that will hurt. 
So make sure your pubic bone and hip bone are nicely connected to the floor here. This actually doesn't change. This should actually stay nice and stable down um, in this lumbar. It's, it's actually not working, this lumbar. It's actually working your thoracic spine. It's part of your postural muscle. It helps to strengthen those postures, particularly when you've been hunched over a, a, a device. So, big toes together, heels apart. Keep your hip, hip bone, pubic bone nicely connected to the mat. And you, you'll take an in, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you first, you'll take an inhale breath first, and then as you exhale, you're not going to lift up the head, but you're going to lift up from the sternum, and the head will follow the sternum. Okay? So hopefully you'll be able to hear me okay. Take that inhale breath. Exhale, lift the sternum and the head following the sternum. And my eyes are actually looking at my hands. And inhale, back in and again. And exhale, lifting up. And inhale, back. So it's that nice move. We're going to do two more. You can, you know, if you've got shoulder, shoulder issues, for some people, um, you might only be able to lift a little way. Some people have been able to practice long enough and they get this beautiful alignment through. I'm going to take my hands out to the side here. So if I was to look down on you, you'd look like a, a W. Your head is in the middle of a W. So I feel as though my hands are pulling down towards my feet, even though the hands aren't moving. My top of my head, my crown of my head are reaching long, my shoulders are reaching down, my pubic bone and hip bone connected, and I'm lifting my belly to the ceiling, even though my lower back's not changing. And then as I exhale, I'm going to start straightening the arms to where I can. My shoulders are down, I'm getting that, I feel nothing in my lower back, and then inhale down. So I'm really trying to get that beautiful extension. And then exhale to lift. And inhale back in again. And exhale. I do love this extension work. So important for us. Look, you may not be able to get as high as this. It might be that that's as far as you can go. It may be that you need to go back to diving press. And that's okay. I'm going to lift up one more time here. And I bring myself back to down press. So I just want to do a little bit of glute work. Um, I was going to try and do some hips and things, but I also want to do some extension this week as well. So there's a little, I, I just don't have, I'm running out of time. <laughs> so we, we will focus a bit more on hips on Thursday, I think. Um, so I've got my phone on my back of my hands. My feet, I've taken my feet away from my um, big toes together and they're just nice and long. I'm taking the shoulder blades away from my ears again. Hip bone, pubic bone connected to the mat. And as I exhale, I want to lengthen, I'm really trying to lengthen through my femur and I'm trying to get this glute working and lifting the leg long enough and I'm really trying to feel in this glute here. And then inhale back down again. And as I take it the other side. So when we can get our glutes strong, our glutes activating properly will help us when we're walking. It can help protect our lower back and hips. So but we've got to get that firing pattern correct to help support the rest of our, our body. And we're going to exhale, lengthen and lift. Get it back. Really feel that. Now, it's not a big lift. We're not working the lower back. Okay? So for me, it's, it's a little lift. Just until I can feel that active here. So I'm, just not, I'm not just lifting for the sake of lifting, but I'm lengthening and getting that activation here. And back through. And if it helps, you could put your hand on your butt there and feel, see if you can feel that muscle activating through. Good for our little butt lift anyway. So, we'll just do one more set because it's good for us. In a good way. Okay. 
Og her er en længde med en anden lomme. Protect your lower back. Take the inhale breath. Exhale, come up into that extension. Shoulders are away from the ears. Nothing in my lower back. I'm really connecting the hip bone to the knees and hip bone. And I'm going to lift both legs. Lift both arms. And I'm going to swing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back to down and press. Take a breath. And relax it for a minute. Lengthen those arms long. Lengthen the legs. And the arms. And we're swimming. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring ourselves down with control. Take that breath. Lengthen one arm. Lengthen the other one. Both legs long and up. Now both arms are long and up. And we're swimming. Last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring feet down. Hands come next to you. Push yourself up and come up. And then press yourself into a child pose just to re-stretch the spine again. Take a couple of breaths. Now we'll come up onto our four-point kneeling. Now, just check in with where your wrists are and your knees are. Uh, if you need to come up onto your fists, you can. Um, depending on what's going on with your shoulders, I've heard some people say that it's actually easier on the shoulders to have the hands further forward. For me personally, I like to have my hands here. This, for me, puts a... Have a play. I don't want pressure on the shoulder, but for me, the, the hands directly under the shoulders is a better position for me. Um, it can just hurt the wrist a little bit. Further out, there's less pressure on the wrist. But that can be fixed by coming into a fist or rolling up a towel or your mat um, and, and just... Taking the pressure off that way. Okay? I'm going to take an inhale breath. As I exhale, I'm going to tuck that toe bone under. The belly button is lifting to the ceiling. The chest is lifting. I'm going to do a little bit of navel gazing. So I'm looking at my belly. Stretching through. Now, starting from your tailbone, reach that tailbone long. The belly is going to start dropping. The chest is starting to drop and lengthen through as I come into that extension. Exhale, tuck that tailbone under, lifting the belly. So we started, when we were sitting down, we were doing a bit like this, this extension flexion. As we come to an end, we're coming into this nice extension um, flexion of the spine, just to get the spine moving. As I said, it is good for us to work in extension. We spend so much time in front of devices that we become quite hunched. And so we need to get some, some strength and mobility back into this spine. And I love these anyway. So nice. So as I exhale, I feel as I'm pulling my hair, heels towards my knees as I come into an extension and as I tuck into flexion I feel as though my arms, hands are pushing away. And we've got one last one here. So nice. Back to neutral. Come and push through your feet. And we, I'm just going to turn to face the camera. My head will disappear for a minute. But I'm just stretching out, lengthening out. Toes pressing into the floor, soften the knees, shoulders away from the ears. Now, I'm not sure what you can see and what you can't see because my screen has gone black. But I want to press my hands behind me, opening up that chest, extending through. Don't let yourself arch, but keep neutral. Reach the fingertips down towards the toes. Find balance on your feet again. 
Draw the chin towards the chest. If you exhale and roll yourself down. Stretching out. You might be lucky enough to touch the toes. Nearly. <laughs> Soften the knees. As you lift the belly, roll yourself up. Now, as we come up, I'm going to reach the fingers, extend, inhaling, and then exhale to circle the arms back down into that last exhale release. So just a quick little all round, a little bit on the glutes. We'll focus on the hips on Thursday. I'll catch you then. Have a good night, everyone. See you.